A new vaccination superstation is opening tomorrow in San Marcos. Joining us now with details about the latest superstation is San Marcos Mayor Rebecca Jones. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning. It's wonderful to be here. Um, I have to tell you, I'm so excited to see the vaccinations in our opening in San Marcos right here at CSU. It's centrally located for North County residents and they no longer have to go down south to either Petco or down to Chula Vista. So it's very exciting. Yeah, I would imagine that there was quite a push. I mean, we kept talking about North County, what's going on in North County. Talk about it actually coming to San Marcos and how you were able to make that happen. Well, uh, many of us were working on this, but I actually personally spoke to Dr. Neufeld and then also uh, President uh, Jack Pond over at Palomar uh, College as well, because we wanted to offer any space that we possibly could for North County. And uh, the mayors also of Carlsbad and uh, Escondido, we had all talked about this as, as well as uh, Supervisor Desmond. And I'm really excited that they did uh, decide that the vaccination site would be best located at CSU San Marcos, because as you know, right now uh, we do have a testing center and it's been the highest uh, testing center here in the county uh, with the most uh, testing in one day, up to 2000 a day. And so what they're looking at is starting out uh, the vaccination center around 250 to 1000 uh, doses per day, but it can ramp up to about 5000 is what they're projecting, which is very valuable for our North County residents. And again, it's centrally located. You can take your car. Uh, there's plenty of parking, uh, but you can also take a bus or the Sprinter, uh, which is great, too, because it's uh, right there at the there's a stop at the uh, CSU San Marcos for the Sprinter and uh, buses as well. Yeah. And talk about that. Is it a stay in your car one? Or are you getting out? How is this going to how is this going to work and how do you make appointments? Okay, so the appointments start today, and I think you probably have that on the website there, uh, but I will uh, give you that website. It's www.vaccinationsuperstationsd.com, and that is for all the folks to start today between uh, roughly uh, 12, uh, 1 o'clock, and then uh, tomorrow will be the vaccination starting. So it's just the Tier 1A, and I'm really hoping hoping uh, that the uh, the first responders as well as the sheriffs and uh, police departments will be able to be prioritized by the county. I know that many counties, including San Bernardino, Riverside and Orange County are already vaccinating all of their law enforcement personnel. And many people don't even know this, but there's a lot of CPR that is administered by our sheriffs and our police departments, as well as Narcan for overdoses, which sadly that is something that they're implementing on a fairly regular basis now uh, due to COVID. Uh, so we need, really need to keep our law enforcement safe. And so I really hope that our county follows the state guidance, which is that you can make uh, a different uh, changes to that, a little bit of flexibility so that our law enforcement can get uh, timely uh, in a timely manner vaccinated so that they're safe too, because we really sure need their help right now. Yeah, I know that's been um, quite the topic over the last few days is um, going and getting our law enforcement vaccinated. And, um, you know, like you said, how does how does this work? Are people going to be staying in their cars? Will they be getting out of their cars? What else do they need to know before making that appointment and going and heading to this superstation up in North County? Yes, yeah, so my apologies. All of the uh, the instructions will be on the website uh, when you sign up for your uh, your appointment uh, and so what will happen is obviously you wouldn't have to be in your car due to the fact that uh, you could be on foot uh, being that if you're a transit rider and so uh, they'll have all the instructions it's very centrally located and already today when there is the COVID vaccination center there are plenty of signs uh, to lead you in the right direction and I do believe that you do have a map that shows mm -hmm. the location where to park uh, and where to walk to and there's lots of uh, paths and you know CSU is very hilly however um, the vaccination site is not uh, a trek uh, as it would be for uh, the testing site the testing site you do have to go up a lot of stairs not too much for the actual vaccination site because it's right there at the uh, Clark House located on the map that I've, I've uh, provided. 
Yeah, and like you said, I mean, this is, you're going to start out kind of smaller, but you're hoping yeah. to go and really ramp up and be able to vaccinate a great deal of people out of this site. And I think that the location is a big reason for that, probably why you decided that this is the ideal location. I agree with you. And again, you know, the 78 is uh, bisect San Marcos, but it also leads to the other Innovate, uh, uh, Innovate 78 cities, Oceanside, Carlsbad, Vista, and Escondido. Uh, but also, you know, Scripps Ranch, Poway, all of that. It's a much uh, closer drive for everyone to come to San Marcos. And again, you know, I'm so grateful for, um, you know, I had sent a letter to uh, Dr. Wilma Wooten a couple of uh, weeks ago saying, please, we, I fully support this. Our staff is ready, our city staff, to help however we can assist. And, you know, the great thing, too, is that, um, you know, at CSU San Marcos, uh, again, it's got plenty of parking, uh, lots of roads leading in, and we don't have the kids uh, in school, so we don't have that uh, traffic to contend with. So, uh, again, very excited to have it here in North County. Happy that the county chose uh, San Marcos for all of the North County residents, which about uh, over a million are uh, north of the 56. So I'm really excited in the coastal cities too, Encinitas, Solana Beach, um, Del Mar, they all uh, can come to San Marcos and, and get their vaccinations. And again, 5,000, um, it's projected for 5,000 vaccinations a day when it's in full speed. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully it'll get up to full speed quickly. Once again, you can go, you make an appointment and that will begin today. Vaccination superstation sd.com. What time today should people head to make their appointment? Uh, right around 12, 1 o'clock. Uh, they told us at 12 p.m. launch time, but I like to figure in if there are any issues. Sometimes technology does not work the way that we want it to. Uh, so right around 12, 1 o'clock. Okay, and that's for those people who are in the 1A group. So we're looking at the 65 and up population, correct? Yes. Okay, all right. Great information for people. Mayor, it's always great catching up with you and some good news out of the North County this morning. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.